Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to introduce you to the Toggle Desktop application. So, in this video we're going to be using the Windows version, though they do have one for Macs and Linux as well as Android devices, which is pretty freaking cool. So, when you boot up the program, you're probably going to want to log in. You can do that with the settings menu over here in the top right, as you can see, I'm logged into ChrisTutorialsYouTube at gmail.com. The timer is not tracking and we have a bunch of other settings down here which we'll get to in a little bit but the main functionality of this application if you haven't already used toggle is basically to start tracking the time where you begin and end your tasks so whatever you're going to be doing and this doesn't necessarily have to be work related but it could also be doing fitness exercises or heck you could even track your sleeping if you really wanted to but you put in the task here and uh, yeah, let's just say sleeping because I think that's really funny. And then once you're done with that, you go ahead and hit start. And then it's going to start uh, basically tracking that amount of time until you hit stop. And when you do hit stop, it's going to put the completed task down here. And you can use that data for basically whatever you need it to. Uh, as you can see, if you do have a lot of tasks, recent tasks, you can hit load more in order to see more than just the most recent ones from today. Uh, here I'll go ahead and stop this task for a moment and uh, what we'll do is we'll click on the task where you'll be able to actually add an in extra information so the task might be called sleeping um, and this is where more of the business side of toggle comes in you can create projects that you may be uh, working on at work or whatever projects you have going on in a day but usually it's going to be work and you can create those so for instance I can say that this is the website project very generic names here and you can also add in clients so this becomes a, a pretty useful tool toggle in general um, when you actually want to send reports to your clients or reports to your boss as uh, I, I've used it like that in the past as well so let's add a client as well and the client will be Acme Corporation I think yeah it, it's Acme not Acne um, just the generic company name. So we were sleeping for the website project for Acme Corporation, and we'd probably get fired for this. But this, uh, by adding in the project and adding in the client you were working for, it becomes really easy to track all of the things you were doing for a particular project and client. And that allows you in the long run to get those uh, billable hours so that your boss and potentially the client knows what you were doing. Um, but yeah, as I said earlier, it doesn't necessarily have to be for work. You can use toggle for anything you want to track. So let's see down here. If you needed to change the times, the start times, the end times, you could do that here. So we could say, I wasn't sleeping from 5.03 to 5.04. I was actually sleeping from 4 to 5. Now, of course, cheat at your own risk. Um, you want to be honest about these kinds of things. And let's see, where did that mess up? I think it's because I didn't put the 5 p.m. there. So now that that's set to 5 p.m., uh, try clicking in the middle box if uh, the time doesn't update. So there, the time updated for me. And tags or taxonomy, uh, where that comes in is uh, kind of just generic terms you could apply to it. So we could say uh, goofing off, sleeping, it's kind of like that. And then hit tab when you have your tag done and we could also say real work tagged um, and that that'll just later on become a way of sorting through your different tasks as you start to accumulate a massive amount um, tags can be useful it's just a way of sorting through your tasks so that's the basics of using um, the task editor over there now back to the settings menu uh, a few important things to point out here and preferences, uh, the Pomodoro timer, this is a pretty new feature to Toggle and it's not exclusive to Toggle. But what the Pomodoro timer allows you to do is after 25 minutes, it's going to automatically stop your task and it's going to let, uh, it's going to notify you. I think it's with a ring um, to basically say, hey, you're 25 minutes or however long you set it for task is done. Take a five minute break. And uh, there have been some studies to, that show that basically taking short breaks every period allows you to be more work, uh, work efficient overall. 
So that's a pretty cool thing. You can uncheck that, of course, if you don't want it to automatically end. It's actually unchecked by default, um, but that's pretty important. Idle detection. How this works is if you step away from the keyboard for more than five minutes, it's going to automatically stop the task. And that is useful because it prevents you from logging uh, time on a task that you weren't really there for. So if you were supposed to be programming um, for your client and you walked away from the keyboard and you forgot to stop the task, that can be kind of helpful. Maybe you want to set it lower than five minutes if you want to be more precise about that kind of thing. Um, just kind of like a backup catch in case you forget to stop your... Another fairly useful setting in the general tab is the default project down here at the bottom. So if there's a project you're probably going to be working on most of this week or it's your most commonly used setting, you can actually save a little bit of time by going to this drop down, selecting the project that more often than not you are currently working on and then what that'll do is whenever you go start your next task it's going to automatically put you inside of that task so it just saves you an extra step um, you can of course go in here and change the project later on if you need to but if you're going to be recording that project a lot for that specific client another useful feature of the toggle desktop app is on the reminder tab what it's saying right here when it says remind me to track time every 10 minutes is basically as long as this is checked and it's on one of the reminder days, optionally, the uh, reminders start times and end times, which is probably going to be the time that you're at work and supposed to be working. It'll remind you uh, whenever you go a period of 10 minutes or less or more uh, without actually having something in your tracking tool. So this is another one of those uh, basically catches when you forget to actually use the tool but you're supposed to use the tool it'll remind you and that's pretty helpful it'll just have like a little pop-up and uh, inform you to actually record what you're doing down so that you can be billed for it or, or you can actually bill people for it or let your boss know another feature that i don't personally like to use a huge amount but does exist is the mini timer so if you open that up you can actually minimize toggle and just put this somewhere on your desktop so if we put it in the bottom left hand corner, we can have this um, basically there as an overlay the entire time and we can just start and stop tasks a little bit quicker. So I could say task two and start it. And then when I'm done with that, end it and then start a new task. And by having this always there, it um, would theoretically allow you to save some time because you don't need to work with the full interface a lot. And you can always go back in and edit it later if you need to say change to the projects or something like that. But what I don't like about this is that ha by having the timer on screen all the time, it kind of, um, it, it personally detracts from my focus. I think more about the timer than I do the actual task I'm trying to complete. So personally, I prefer to have it in the background. Now to close the timer, you simply go back into the toggle desktop application, the menu and uncheck use mini timer. If we go back to the menu, one of the things we didn't really touch on is reports. So if we click on reports, it's actually going to open it up in a web browser. And this is where you can collect all the data from a day or a week and compile that into one uh, spreadsheet of information. As you can see, it's also got some pretty cool pie charts down there. And we can filter by days of the week. So if we only wanted to grab today, I could say click on Sunday the 21st. And then it's only going to be collecting the data that actually went into it from today. Now, I'm not going to really touch on it much in this video, but it does have very useful functionality, like the ability to export it and print it if you need to hand it in at the office. So that's the basics of using the Toggle Desktop Time Tracking application. I hope you found this tutorial to be fairly helpful. It's a pretty cool tool, definitely. And if your company is not already using it, I'd say give it a try even for your own purposes. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future videos.